Hey guys, Marissa with Lingo Abilities here. Today we are going to talk about a way to uh, share Android apps where you actually do have mouse functionality. If you saw in my previous video, which I will put a link up in the upper right hand corner for you to check out, in iPad mirroring, we're able to share our um, Apple apps um, through iPads and iPhones and things like that, but we don't have the mouse functionality where we can actually give ourselves or our clients the ability to click on anything and actually do anything with it. So this is where Bluestacks comes in. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to bluestacks.com. Um, and as far as I can tell, please correct me if I'm wrong, this is only for Android games and specifically Android apps and games that have been um, modified to work with Bluestacks. Now the purpose of this program really is to be able to play some of these apps and games using your computer. Like if you wanna have a bigger screen and be able to use your mouse to, let's say do a first person shooter or something like that. Um, but what we're gonna do when we download it, you can also come to look at just the general um, games and apps that they have. We're gonna use it for therapy. So this will take you to the top categories. You can also come here and click any of the other categories that are available. So. I'm going to show you um, education. If you go to communication, it's really more things like Skype and like adult communication for business rather than any, anything to do with therapy. So we'll go to education. Okay, so if we go check out education, you can see some of the things that have already been uploaded. Um, for example, there are some brain pop things. So there's um, apps that are going to link to websites or website content that's been put into an app similar with ABC mouse. Um, but there's also going to be some just plain educational apps. Um, this is not the best way to search for them. The best way is to really go to uh, Google Play and just like you would be searching through your phone or your tablet, you're going to look for your apps there. So let's say that we've already downloaded it and I'll show you what it looks like. So I've downloaded a couple apps already, and the place that you go to find them, when you first start and download it, you'll have the Google Play Store. So we're going to pull that up just to show you what it looks like. Looks just like it would on your phone or your tablet if you are an Android user. So you can search for different things here. Some things that I've searched for you can see are problem solving, super duper, stuff like that. So I'll show you some problem solving ones just to see what comes up. It will also come up with movies, music, and books, but if you scroll down, you can see some of the apps that are available. So if we click on one that I've already downloaded, you can see that you have the option to uninstall or update. You can go down and see, just as you would, all of the reviews about the game, some screenshots, things like that. And we'll show one that I haven't downloaded just to show you what it'll look like when you click it. All you'll have is the install. But you know, you can scroll through these things and see what the screenshots look like. See if this is something that you wanna bring into your therapy. Um, there's all sorts of stuff. I mean, I was searching for social skills. Um, there's gonna be things for reading, of course. Um, there's gonna be tracing activities if you're doing that in OT. So really get just get creative here. Okay, so I'll show you some examples just so you can see what it looks like when we're actually interacting. A uh, favorite that I've always been so sad I can't implement through the iPad has been Angry Birds because that's a favorite. This is really good for reinforcement, turn taking, um, cause and effect even. So you can see it loads just like it would if you're on your phone or your tablet. Takes a little bit of time, at least on the laptop that I have, which may tell me it's time to upgrade. Um, but it looks just like Angry Birds. Instead of using your finger, you're going to use your mouse to click and drag. And there you go, Angry Birds. So that's really cool. There's so much more functionality now that we have the mouse available um, and we can actually click on things. So while it's really cool to mirror the iPad, don't get me wrong, I use that probably every day. Um, this is also really cool just because you can click on it. So you'll see that there's, like I said, some apps that have to do with like websites, like Brain Pop Jr. Check it out, see if it's got anything additional than just the website has. There may be some cool free content there on sites that are typically paid like Brain Pop. Um, and then there's also some of our favorite apps like Angry Birds. We've got the Super Duper Hear Builder applications if you're a speech therapist. 
There's also other cool things that have different activities than just perhaps the website does, like Nat Geo Kids uh, is like a magazine, so that's pretty cool. There's also some reading things through Google Play um, and through uh, Amazon. That's also a nice one. Um, and then there's also just different activities that you may need for your discipline. You know, if you want something for speech therapy, there's following instructions. If you want something for social skills, there's learning emotions. So do your research, see what you can find in here and uh, what you might want to bring into your therapy session. Because how cool is this that we can now use our mouse to engage with these apps? So let me know what you find if I'm wrong and this is actually available for Apple too. I would love to know. If you're finding apps that I don't have yet and you think are really good, let me know in the comments. I would always love to add to my repertoire. So good luck with this and I'll see you in the next video. By the way, guys, if you are interested in some of the products that I use in my telepractice, check out in the links below. I have created a free ebook that has some Amazon affiliate links of the products that I use in my telepractice. Um, I've tried to include products that I'm familiar with in all of the categories like cameras and monitors and things like that. If it's something that I don't use, I've done the research for you and I can vouch that it's a good product. So definitely check that out if you're getting started. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you later.